Welcome to Sixes Overdrive today, guys. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about pressuring people to take up motorcycling. Your loved ones, your friends, uh, maybe your husband or wife, whatever. But that's what we're talking about today. So roll the music. Okay, guys. Well, this is a bit of a different topic, all right? And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. I stole this topic from a cycle... Canada, uh, sorry, Cycle Canada magazine. That's the one I subscribe to. And uh, I stole this article from an editorial that a guy wrote about this very subject. So if you want to check out a much better and precise article about it, go and uh, check out Cycle Canada's website or go pick up the magazine. Anyway, guys, now I read this article in Cycle Canada. And uh, let, let me backtrack here. I have the most beautiful wife in the world. I'm so happy to have her. Uh, she's too beautiful for YouTube. That's why I never show her on YouTube. And uh, not only does she have uh, beautiful looks, but she's also a beautiful person, a wonderful person. So much and so, in fact, that she puts up with me and my rantings and all my motorcycle fetishes and all that kind of stuff. She, she still sticks by me. Not only does she stick by me, but get this. For my birthday this year, what does she do? She goes and takes her learner's test and presents me with her learner's permit and uh, books herself a motorcycle uh, learning test in Edmonton. Seriously, what a gal. That's right, I'm a lucky guy, guys, and I just feel blessed to have somebody like that around. And uh, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I put more value in my wife and my family than any of these motorbikes. If uh, something had to come first, it's this family, all right? Now, I read this Cycle Canada article, and the guy was talking about, you know, how we pressure people sometimes, like our spouses or a boyfriend, girlfriend, just a buddy or something like that to take up motorbiking, and we can see that these people are struggling. We all know, even, like, like when I get on a motorbike, I feel like I'm at home. I don't have to think about gears. I don't have to think about braking. It's all pretty natural. Somebody pulls in front of me, I just know instinctively what to do i know how to uh, brake hard maneuver brake i know all that stuff I, it just comes to me naturally but you know last year when i was following my w wife around who and and you guys can comment all you want i want to hear everybody's opinions about this all right i don't want to just be spouting off you guys tell me what you think i'm going to give you my opinion you don't have a choice but to listen to it but i'd like to hear back from you so anyway, so I'm following my wife around after she's taken the course, and, and she's shaky. You know, she's, uh, we've got the Bluetooth headset. I've got a cardio, a cardio, cardo, I don't know, whatever, in my helmet here, and I gave her a helmet with that on it uh, because we ride two up a lot of times, and we talk back and forth and enjoy our company while we're taking a beautiful ride. But on this particular occasion, she was in front of me like we're supposed to in Canada here. I have to follow her around. She had a little CBR 250, so nothing intimidating or anything. But she get to the intersection, and she's talking in the helmet. Now what do I do? Now what do I do? Well, I almost think it was worse that I was talking in her head because I think she's second-guessing herself on everything that she's doing. But still, guys, you know, she's panicking about coming to a yield sign, coming to a stop sign, what gear should I be in, everything else. What if something goes wrong out of her control? And let me tell you right now, guys, I'll be talking to my wife about this. I'm going to give her that article that I read in Cycle Canada. But the worst thing in the world that would happen to me is if my wife took up motorcycling because I was pressuring her to become a motorcyclist just so that we could go out together and she could indulge me in my big uh, fantasy world of motorcycles. If something was to happen to her that she got killed or maimed, and it was because she was inexperienced or just wasn't the right person for a motorbike, just didn't get the passion, didn't get, didn't feel comfortable with it ever, but I kept pushing her, man, that would be the worst feeling in the world. It would almost make me want to give up motorbiking. Know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm talking about, guys. If you have, this is my opinion on the matter, if you have a buddy or a girlfriend or a wife or whatever, now, uh, if you have one of those, and you can clearly see that they're dropping the bike trying to learn. Um, my wife's not that bad, so I'm going to leave it up to her. She's a pretty good rider, actually. She just asks a lot of questions. 
But uh, if you have somebody that's clearly not getting it, don't push them to ride. Not everybody has the same passion and gravitates to it the same way as you or I do. Uh, sometimes you just got to admit that it might be better to put them on the back and enjoy the company with them at that time. If it's another dude, well, that's, you're going to have to work that out. I'm not going to help you with that decision. But anyway, guys, that's what I got to say today. If you have somebody that's uncomfortable with motorcycling and you're pushing them into it, you're probably making a big mistake. Until next time, guys, this is Sixes Overdrive saying bye-bye.